Today I am raiding crew merch. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Dragon and I was a compositor by day in TV animation. I did a whole video all about the animation industry and my feelings on being laid off. And I've got to say that video has absolutely gone crazy over the last couple days. Thank you to everyone that has stuck around and is here for the ride. Today though, I'm keeping it light. A break from all the existentialism that comes with being a professional artist. And we're gonna focus on the silver lining of working on adult animated comedies. As a token of appreciation, sometimes at the end of a production or a TV show, we get crew gifts. And crew gifts are pretty cool, honestly. I really do enjoy getting merch of the shows that I've worked on, even if they're not shows I'm personally interested in. I think it's just kind of like a cool badge, like it makes me feel like a Girl Scout or something. But I don't have a huge collection because not all of the shows that I've worked on have given me a crew gift after the end of production, but I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I have gotten over the years. I've got my IMDb page up here, and we're just gonna go from my first show to my latest, at least the ones that are up on IMDb right now. So honestly, we're not starting on a great foot. My first show was Wolf Boy and the Everything Factory, and I never got any crew merch. I was so salty about that. It's like one of the only kids shows that I actually have worked on, and I know there was a poster that was floating around in the studio and I just I never got one so if anyone happens to see this I would love a wolf boy poster it was my first show and I you know it would be nice to have something to commemorate that all right moving on okay so after wolf boy I worked on some YouTube shorts for the mobile game best fiends and honestly they had some pretty top tier merch I'm kind of embarrassed about this but um they gave the they gave us these really cool socks and they're like socks of the characters but um embarrassingly enough i seem to only have one pair of each sock i have no idea where the other socks are but yeah these are some of the socks i don't really know how to like show you guys like should i just put it on I feel like that's weird though, right? That's weird. Anyway, that was some Best Feeds merch. So I got socks and then I got a shirt that I might have left at my parents' house. I don't know. Actually, I found it. This is my Best Fiends shirt. I like the colors. I'm not crazy about the design, but I usually just use it for like lounging around because I the design's okay, so. But here's some cool details about it. This is the inner tag. I really like. <laughs> the little character on the inside of the tag. And then the little tag at the bottom. This is my Best Fiends poster. It says 2021-2022 crew. I feel like I remember getting my poster signed, but like maybe I just had two copies and one was signed and one was not, but which that kind of sucks because I would like to have more of the crew signatures on my posters, but it's whatever. Overall, I think the Best Fiends merch is pretty cool, but I'm giving it like a solid seven, mostly because all of the things that I got from there are not like everyday wearable for me. Moving on to my plunge into adult animated comedies. I worked on Saturday Morning All-Star Hits, which was a really silly show. I just, I don't think it really found its footing though and no merch, so. Next, we've got Farzar, which was such a crazy show. I still can't believe I worked on that. But you know what? Pretty cool merch, I gotta say. This one I haven't hung up for some obvious reasons. This is the Farzar crew poster and it's obviously not in the style of the show. I'm not sure who the artist is that did it, but really cool. I really like it. I'm just kind of holding on to it right now. I can't say that the poster is making me love Farzar because Again, crazy show, but I think that's a good looking piece of art, man. Kudos to whoever drew that, dope poster. That's not even my favorite from Farzar. We also got these plushies. This character, like, I think this character is really cute, but then when he opens his mouth, it's like a whole other story. But I love this plush and, you know, toy collector. So of course I was so happy to have this as a part of my collection. I forget the name of this character. I'll pop it somewhere on the screen, but yeah. And here's the little, a little Farzar tag. And I have one more thing from Farzar. We got these shirts, which honestly, pretty dope. I kind of love them. I don't love the character. I don't love the show at all, but like it kind of is giving like band t-shirt. I don't know. 
know. I just really like it. If you catch me out in the wild with this shirt on, it does not mean I'm a Farzar stan. I just worked on it. The Farzar merch honestly kind of breaks the scale for me. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. That crew merch, they ate. All right, this show is notably missing from my IMDb page, but I worked on Paradise PD. No IMDb credit and no merch. I also have a credit for Mulligan, which I worked very briefly on. I just assisted in a couple scenes. No merch from them, but Paradise PD, I worked on an entire season. But honestly, like that is okay because Paradise PD is another crazy show. I also worked on Koala Man, which that was an interesting show, but I didn't get any merch for that. I feel like that's more so because I also only worked on a couple episodes of that. I got the ax before I finished that season. So I worked on Aqua Teen Plantasm and I worked on the latest season of Aqua Teen. And for Plantasm, I remember I was like a day late for submitting, I think it was like a t-shirt size, so I didn't end up getting any crew merch and it was devastating to me at the time because I was like, when am I going to work on Aqua Teen again, ever again? I'd love to have some crew merch. A year and a half later, I was hired to be the lead compositor on it. Let's take a look at some of my Aqua Teen merch. All right, starting with my Meat Wad shirt. Really cool design. Meatwad was like my childhood favorite character. Nowadays, it's more so Frylock, but yeah, I had to get a Meatwad shirt. And I've got a Frylock bag. So this is the front, and then on the back, we have this gem. And yeah, I haven't really use this for anything besides groceries just yet. Don't know if it like accessorizes well. So this is my boyfriend's Master Shake tote bag. Again, we like mostly use our totes for groceries and stuff. This is just the front. It's like a regular tote bag on the back. But yeah, no, I really like it. It's so cute and quirky and unfortunately they don't accessorize well for me and my style but they're just really cool crew gifts to get so i have a really cool story actually about getting the merch for aqua teen i went to the adult swim rap party back in i think it was like december or november which that was such a fun experience i wasn't sure what to expect going to that rap party just because i knew it was like more so the people that work at adult swim i worked at a studio called floyd county for the production of aqua team not directly under adult swim but yeah i actually and ended up taking my boyfriend to the rap party with me and we ran into Dana Snyder at the merch table. We were on our way out and you know we just wanted to grab some like crew gifts before we left. My partner he's like oh man I don't know which one to get and um, I'm trying to catch up with him because I got wrapped up in like a different conversation with somebody but he's at the merch table and he's trying to decide like between all the different things that you could get because I think there was like some kind of like limit to how much or what you could get but then Dana Snyder comes up to him and in the Master Shake voice is like, why not both? So he absolutely freaks out. He calls me over and he's like, look, it's Dana. And I freak out because I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been watching you since I was a kid. <laughs> and we take this like super drunken photo together. We were a little bit tipsy. That is the story of how I got these crew gifts and a really silly photo with Dana. Aqua Teen is a close second. I really like the Aqua Teen tote bags and the shirts and stuff. And I got a cool photo op of Dana. But if I had to just rate the crew gifts alone though, probably like a nine out of 10, maybe like a nine and a half out of 10. Nah, nah, actually, no, we're gonna stick with nine out of 10 because I should have gotten a crew gift for Plantasm. So they lose a point for that. So all in all, if we're, you know, ranking everything by points. It's definitely Farzar, then Aqua Teen, and then Best Fiends. If anyone from any of the other shows wants to send me any, you know, any belated crew merch, I would love that. If you like this behind the scenes kind of stuff with animation, consider joining my Patreon. I have a sticker club, a print club, a tip jar tier, and a podcast tier. On my podcast, I go into depth about my experiences in animation, good and bad. So if that's something you would be interested in learning more about, consider subscribing. I'll have a link down below to my Patreon and other places you can find me on the great big internet. But again, thanks for watching. Just wanted to make a silly video today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!